details on this, and it is a stunning story. Now it's not enough to flee your home country. Iranian intelligence operatives allegedly crossing the ocean to claw back a dissenter and activist who became an American citizen. They stalked her home with a live high-definition video feed, and their plan to abduct her is terrifying. The target was a journalist and activist who's been a guest here on The Story many times. Masi Alinejad joins us in a Fox exclusive. But first, correspondent Aisha Hafney with the backstory. Aisha. Martha, they weren't just surveilling her. They were mapping out the details right down to the escape route. According to that indictment that was just unsealed by federal authorities, one of the four agents involved in this looked into travel routes from Masi Alinajad's Brooklyn residence to a waterfront neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York, while another agent allegedly researched a service offering military-style speedboats for self-operated maritime time evacuation of Manhattan and maritime travel from New York to Venezuela. That was the plan. She posted a video on Twitter last night showing police officers outside. She says the FBI had to take her to a safe house to protect her. The four Iranian nationals charged with kidnapping are still at large. That's the terrifying part because they are all based in Iran. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki reacting to this alleged kidnapping plot just a short while ago. Listen. We categorically condemn Iran's dangerous and despicable reported plot to kidnap a U.S. citizen on U.S. soil. We will forcefully defend U.S. citizens and U.S. interests. And not a surprise here, Martha. According to Reuters, uh, Iran's foreign ministry is denying these allegations, calling them baseless and ridiculous. Martha? Thank you very much, Aisha Hasni. Masi Alinejad joins me now. As we mentioned, she's an Iranian journalist and activist and author of The Wind in My Hair, My Fight for Freedom in Modern Iran. And she's a frequent guest here. Masi, it's great, good to have you back and good to see you uh, safe and sound. Um, you have been through a lot. And you hear in Aisha's report that they're still out there in Iran. Does that frighten you? Um, I mean, it was a scary. It was scary, to be honest. From the beginning, I got goosebumps when I heard about all the details. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, Martha, that shows that the regime is scared of, of, of me as well. They're really scared of women. They're scared of their mm -hmm. own people because I'm a journalist. I'm not a criminal. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just giving voice to voiceless people inside Iran who dare to share their videos filming bravely the brutal regime. And that is scares the government. And that's it. Yeah. Um, y your brother is in prison. We've talked about that in the past. He's been sentenced to eight years in prison. You have family there and family here. Um, you know, how do you stay strong? How do you keep doing what you're doing? And how do you stay so brave? That's a very good question, Martha, because sometimes, um, you know, I, I tell myself that this government did everything to break me. The Islamic Republic actually... Um, when I launched my campaign and millions of people were like following the, the movement, when the mothers of those people got killed following uh, like the platform and sending videos to me, they went after my family. Like they interrogated my 70 year old mother. They brought my sister on TV to disown me publicly. Then they uh, made a new law. The head of the revolutionary court said, if anyone sent videos to Massey, we'll be charged up to 10 years prison. Can you believe that? And then they, all of these didn't stop people. That's why they arrested my brother. That didn't stop me. Then they're here to kidnap me in American soil. And, 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 and I always tell myself that I have to feel miserable every day mm. or I have to make my oppressors feel miserable. Mm. I choose the second one because mm. I'm following the Iranian brave mm. women. They are like Rosa Parks of Iran. When they're not giving up, what should I give up? You know, I, I encourage everyone to look at the videos that you post because they are women uh, who are letting their hair down, taking off their hijab. They are riding bicycles through the streets of Tehran, things that we absolutely take for granted in this country. But those are amazing acts of heroism on their part because they are not allowed to do that. You also have interviewed families whose uh, family members have been murdered in Iran. And they, you yeah. have been one of the few ways that they can get their message out. Um, do you feel like these messages are, are hitting home? Home with the White House. You heard the press secretary Terry, there responding to a question about what happened to you. 
not only me, many people within the society are disappointed because um, that actually, uh, the kidnapping plot was a test from the Western countries, from the U.S. government. The Iranian regime actually tried to challenge the authorities in the U.S. soil. And now the reaction was like they're calling this as a law enforcement. This is not a law enforcement. This is called kidnapping. And uh, last year, the regime actually kidnapped the journalist, Ruhollah Zam, and they executed him. Yeah. So they were going to execute me. And now I'm an American citizen as well. So I want the U.S. administration, I want Biden administration to condemn that strongly, to take action. Because if they don't do that, then the U.S. citizens won't be safe. This is not about me. This is actually uh, the Islamic Republic trying to threaten American citizens. And I, I think that was not enough. I was really disappointed, and I'm looking for a strong action. Masi, thank you. Uh, we'll continue our conversation uh, in the days to come. We're glad that you're well. Stay safe. And uh, we, we appreciate you coming on today. It's always good to hear from you. Thank you, Masi. Take care. Be well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.